All right, here's a go, baby. Okay, we're gonna hit somebody. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go to the Because you're not rattling, you should be the one to rattle. Come on, baby. Aloha, Hawaii's North Shore is one famous region. It has a mild average temperature, but receives a lot of rain. This makes this region so green, lush, and very tropical. But don't let the rain spoil your plans because most of the time, it might be raining in one spot and sunny the next mile or so. This area is also where most of the touristic attractions and beautiful and untouched scenery of Kauai is located. In this video, I will focus on the attractions to visit including the must-visit dining options. But before anything else, as my views are growing, a lot of my viewers are not subscribers. Please help my channel grow by subscribing and do not forget to hit the like button for this video. That said, here are the must-visit places on Kauai's North Shore. The best way to enjoy the North Shore is by spending 2-3 to three days, staying at Princeville, a large and popular resort area overlooking the cliffs of Hanalei is the best option. But it is possible to enjoy the North Shore for a day, and here's how to do it. Let's start our adventure with a breakfast at one of the best food trucks, Saints Ohana Breakfast in Princeville. This food destination is only open until noon. You got to try their macadamia nut coffee, which is a free refill. Just straight up coffee, no sugar is the best way to experience this coffee. They have typical breakfast dishes like pancakes, french toast, and burritos, but their healthier option stands out. I ordered the veggie burrito and it was a delightful meal. The North Shore has some of the best lookouts. One is just minutes drive from Saints Ohana breakfast, right along Kohio Highway is the famous Hanalei Valley lookout. This is a quick stop over but the view is breathtaking. The lookout sets against the backdrop of a curved out and waterfalls bejeweled Namulukama mountain and the taro fields below. This valley is a designated wildlife sanctuary rich in native water birds. Another lookout which is also along Kuhio Highway before you enter the town of Hanalei is the Hanalei Bay lookout. The gorgeous view from the lookout encompasses the entire Hanalei area including the town, river, where we went kayaking, the Hanalei Bay, mountains and taro fields. The best time to take stunning videos and photos is right before sunset or during sunrise. Please be warned though, both lookouts have limited parking spaces. Kelawea Lighthouse and National Wildlife Refuge is the northernmost point of the main Hawaiian Islands. As for me, this is one of the most breathtaking places on Kauai. Before heading down the lighthouse, take a moment to stop at the upper parking lot outside the refuge and view the lighthouse from the overlook. The lighthouse looks pretty small from this vantage point, but it is a beautiful area to take photos and videos. There is a $10 entrance fee required for adults 16 and older. The lighthouse sat on top of a cliff with a breathtaking 180 degrees view. The lighthouse was built in 1913 and in 1985 it was established as a national wildlife refuge. This is only one of the few locations where you can observe a red-footed booby, lysan albatross and other unique seabirds in their natural habitat. During certain seasons, you can even witness humpback whales and dolphins frolicking in the waters. If you visit Kilauea Lighthouse, Kilauea Fish Market is an excellent place to have lunch. But suppose you haven't gotten a reservation or want a cheaper option? In that case, you can have a quick lunch at Kilauea Cafe inside Kilauea Market. I tried their $15 crispy fish sandwich in a brioche bun with avocado, slaw, and tartar sauce, and it was a satisfying meal. Their margarita pizza is something to try as well. 
Paddling down Hanalei River is the most relaxing activity you can do in the North Shore. There are a lot of water sports shops in the North Shore where you can rent kayaks. In our case, we rented our kayaks at Kayak Hanalei. Their shop is conveniently located near the entrance to the river. From there, we kayak down to Hanalei Bay. My wife and I are Ironman triathletes, so although we have not kayaked before, we figured if we can finish an Ironman race, kayaking is easy, right? What a big mistake. We did not know what we were doing. We were arguing most of the time about who was because maneuvering the kayak. The most of the time, our kayak was stop, moving stop, sideways stop, stop. with the current. Embarrassing. I I yes, fired. I know. Meanwhile, our son, which is his first time as well, kayaked like a pro. Despite our embarrassing moments, it was the most relaxing experience as we kayaked down to Hanali Bay and back. We will definitely kayak again when we are back in Kauai, but we might need to practice to save ourselves from embarrassment. Hanalei Town is a place where surfers, celebrities, and tourists gather to have a good time. Life in Hanalei is laid back. It is an old Hawaiian surf town that seems oblivious to the world's care. In Hanalei, you will find various stores to bring back souvenirs from your trip, from t-shirt stores to exquisite contemporary art galleries. The Chengyang Village Shopping Center is located in the heart of Hanalei. It contains many tourist-type stores filled with trinkets and curios. On the other side of Chengyang Village, you will find the old Hanalei School Building and the Hanalei Center where you can enjoy Hanalei's rich cuisine. Don't forget to head to Hanalei Historic Pier and see its beautiful bay for one of the most memorable sunsets you will ever have the privilege to see. Most of Kauai's beautiful places are inaccessible by cars. However, there is a way to experience all the island's beauty. Exploring by plane is one of the best ways to see Kauai. In our case, we chose Air Ventures, a company we flew with to see Kauai from above. Seeing Kauai from the air is a thrilling experience that hardly any other tourist activity can offer you. See the myriad of waterfalls cascading from the sides of the mountains. Marvel the breathtaking Waimea Canyon State Park from above. And of course, witness the stunning Napali coast of Kauai. This stunning view is what you see in advertisement billboards and TV ads. You can only witness this breathtaking view of Napali coast by a boat or by air. However, seeing it by air gives you a whole new perspective about the coast. After witnessing the North Shore, you can end your day at one of the best restaurants in Hanalei, the Dolphin. Most of the restaurants in Kauai needs a reservation but not at the Dolphin, it is first come, first term. But due to its good food and good vibe, it can get busy most of the time so come early. From the footage, you will see lines of people waiting to be seated. The Dolphin is primarily a seafood eatery. And one of the best dishes to order is the fish of the day. If you have not tried a moonfish, you got to try this fish. It is so tasty. My only complaint is that the portion is small. A bigger portion could have been a perfect meal. Nevertheless, it was delicious. If you think that the North Shore has the best attractions to visit, wait until you see the South Shore. Click on the thumbnail to watch my take on the South Shore. Until next time, travelers, mahalo!